Certain Republicans are continuing to push the idea of possibly having Donald Trump become the speaker of the house. It's now rumored that Trump may actually make an appearance in Congress next week. They're supposed to reconvene on Tuesday and start with the whole process of getting a new speaker. And Trump says, maybe I'll go there. Maybe I could be speaker for just a short time. Cause then I'll be president of the United States. And one of the people that is actively pushing for Donald Trump to be the next speaker of the house happens to, of course, be Marjorie Taylor Greene. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene, according to a post she put on Twitter this past week, and yes, I'm still calling it Twitter forever. Um, she basically suggested that for Republicans, it would be a party every day. If Donald Trump becomes a speaker of the house, here's what she said. <laughs> if Trump becomes speaker of the house, the house chamber will be like a Trump rally every day. It would be the house of MAGA. Are you, are you trying to scare people into not wanting Trump to be speaker of the house? Because that reads like a threat not like a declaration of hell. Yeah, bro. We're going to party every day. Like that sounds like the worst thing I could ever imagine a Trump rally every day in the house of representatives, because that's what Marjorie Taylor green wants. She wants it to be the house of MAGA as she called it, but that's a horrifying thought for those of us that are not members of the Trump cult. I mean, to me, it's like Marjorie Taylor Greene is acting like a child whose parents are getting divorced. And she's like, oh, I'm going to go live with dad. We're going to have ice cream and cake for breakfast every day. Yeah. No rules at dad's house, right? Well, eventually you're going to find that, Hey, I'm kind of being neglected. I'm not getting nutrition and things are falling apart very quickly living with dad. That's, that's what would happen with Donald Trump as the speaker of the house, because Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't say in her post that, Hey, we would get so much legislating done. You know, we, we could accomplish these goals, right? She's not actually talking about doing her job. She's like, it would be a rally every day. Maybe we'll bring in a popcorn machine. Maybe we'll have some guy in the back spinning some cotton candy for us. Right? Because that's all you want. You don't want to do your job. Like that's the problem Republicans have. They don't want to do the work. Matt Gates doesn't want to do the work. Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't want to do the work. Trump didn't want to do the work. Guy didn't even want to read anything. Had to give him a one page with a bunch of pictures. So if Trump were to become speaker of the house, it's not that he would inflict so much damage upon the United States. It's that there would be no progress we would have constant nonstop stalemates. We would not get the budget passed. We would go into a government shutdown. And with Trump as speaker, we would go into a government shutdown that effectively would last until after the next Congress is sworn in because he would not allow things to move forward because as a non-voting member of Congress, he would not have the authority to propose legislation or even vote on legislation, but he would have the authority to determine what's going to come to the house floor. And that's, what's so terrifying because it wouldn't be legislation coming to the house floor. It would be nothing but non stop chaos, which to be honest, is actually not that much different than what we have right now. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.